Good morning, everyone. Isn't that a beautiful sight? I got an early start today. I woke up at about 3.30 this morning to make the couple hour drive up here to hit the water before sunrise. I'm gonna go for some largemouth bass today. It actually got kind of cool out here last night. It's late August and the temperatures dropped to the high 40s last night. So I was thinking about throwing the frog up in some of these lily pads, but I honestly don't think the bass are gonna be up in that shallow water as cold as it got last night. So instead, I think I'm gonna try the Spro BBZ1 rat. We'll try that out along some of the deep edges of the weed lines and we'll throw it up into some of the shallow weeds too. But I've had really good luck with this lure fishing largemouth the few times that I've tried it. It really seems to get the attention of those bigger fish. So hopefully it has that same effect out here today. Oh, it looks like the clouds covered up the moon, but the moon was pretty much at its highest up in the sky. So we are in the peak time right now. So I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's get out there and we'll see what we can catch. Mornings like this are what kayak fishing dreams are made of. A little bit of mist rolling along the top of the water, smooth as glass out here. Absolutely perfect. Only thing that would make it any better, you're getting a couple big largemouth to come up and hit that rat. Oh my gosh, what was that? Is that a bass or a pike? Oh, that's a bass. It's a friggin' tank. It kind of looked like a pike at first there. Come here, you. Jeez. I almost took that one to the eye there. Let me get that one out of the way. Jeez, look at that one. I'll take that for the first fish of the day. That's what I was talking about when I said that rat seems to call out those bigger fish. Jeez, look at the size of that one. Nice. Good way to start the morning. He's looking for breakfast. There's one. All right, he's out in deeper water. Oh my gosh. I'm 
I can get up out of those weeds now. Look at that bass. Wow. I think that's probably all we're gonna catch is big fish with that lure. That one's out a little bit deeper. Basically all I'm doing is I'm working my way around the lake, kind of sticking to the deep edge of the weeds. I'm throwing some casts in shallow over the tops of some of the weeds. Some of them I'm throwing out deeper. That one's out in deeper water. He's probably out in about oh, 12 to 15 feet of water out there. These are out in deep water. That one is way off the edge of the weeds. I have been seeing a lot of little bait fish surfacing out here in deeper water. I figured there must be something chasing them around. Oh yeah, he's come on up here. Feisty one, look at that. Another beautiful fish. Well, three fish so far on the rat. All of them have been quality fish. Man, look at that. What a nice chunky largemouth. That one was dang near out in the middle of the lake over here, too. That's crazy. They're out in that deep of water and they're still willing to come up and hit that rat. As cold as it got last night, all the bait fish must have moved out deep. I've been seeing a bunch of stuff jumping around out here. That's basically how I caught that last fish. I saw something bust the surface. I threw that rat over there and Mr. Bass came up and smashed it. There we go. Geez, they're like out in the middle of the lake here. Chasing bait around. Definitely aren't saying no to that rat this morning. What an awesome morning to be out here. You got loons calling, geese flying around. I just had an eagle fly over me. Oh man, I am in heaven out here right now. <laughs> 